video my name is Mike I'm a full-time media seller it is Monday we are at the 50,000 square foot warehouse so we have a topic today the topic is going to be how resellers and reselling in general is kind of getting squeezed from all different directions here when it comes to you know things like fees shipping and just your overall business here I feel like we're kind of getting squeezed pretty hard already this year so we're gonna cover that but first as always we are gonna go over some eBay sales and Amazon sales as well. And this week I promise you that I actually have eBay sales from over the weekend, so that is good. If you're interested in being around like-minded people, join the YouTube membership. We got a private Discord, weekly Zoom calls. Basically, I can make you an overnight millionaire. So let's get right on into these sales and then uh, we'll talk about how you know, the walls, the walls feel like they're closing in all around us. So let's go. All right, so believe it or not, we actually sold five items on the eBay, the Flea Bay, the Wee Bay over the weekend. So, and we actually have two non-media sales as well. So that is exciting. First up, we have some more of our finger bikes. I bought a whole box of these for 10 bucks. I've already sold like four or five. Um, sold this one for 20 bucks, took an offer. So another one out the door. I probably still have like 15 of these left. They're like old school, you know, new, new old stock, pretty cool, real metal bike tool kind of stuff. So 20 bucks for that. Moving along here to our next non-media sale. These came right out of my personal collection. I bought these a few years ago and I just never got around to wearing those. Wearing these, some jockey thigh high silk pantyhose uh, i paid like 10 cents a piece for these at a local thrift store uh they had a whole bunch of them that were new sealed so this one sold for uh 12 bucks free shipping so i just i'm taking an offer to get rid of all this stuff i got a lot of moving parts in the background when it comes to reorganizing everything so i'm hey it's a clearance blowout sale so i i guess i'll never get to wear these unfortunately but hey what are you gonna do right all right, now we are getting into the books. We have Warhammer book here that sold finally. 25 bucks here, Warhammer 40K, always good. Always be on the lookout. Usually always has the Warhammer there on the spine. Um, I think I was gated or I don't know what the deal was why I didn't sell this on Amazon, but I had it on listed on eBay for a while. I lowered the price to 30 bucks, uh, took an offer at 25. So it's finally out of the unit. I'm getting rid of a lot of stuff I had for a while, which is good, right? You don't want to see that stuff sitting around forever. Uh, another book here we have. I mean, this would be this car, this book about this car would be pretty cool to have, you know, and drive to the thrift stores. Uh, we sold this for 30 bucks here. AC Cobra, the complete story. I mean, Cobras just look like bad cars. Like you drive one of these, you know, you're a bad dude or a bad girl, right? So that's pretty cool to get out of here for 30 bucks. And the last flea bay sale we have, we sold this for 15 bucks. I took an offer uh, a while, a few weeks ago, I sold the other one that kind of looked like this. Uh, real nice book here, Gilded Contract of Sale by Pothier or Pottier. I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but just got this out of the unit for 15 bucks. So it's one more thing out of the way. So those five eBay sales, I'm I'm superly, 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 I don't even know if it's a word, superly pleased by getting rid of those five items. Let's kick it over to Amazon here. As always, plus $4 shipping. So first up, we have a DVD. Once and again, season two. I have never heard of this TV series. Maybe you have. Uh, some of the actors do look familiar. Um, but yeah, season two sold for $15.41 plus 3.99 shipping next up we have we got all dvd sales that's weird mind your language volume three i actually sold a few of these other ones so if you see this mind your language there's different volumes so make sure you're always scanning all the volumes if you see this specific set um it's a british tv series take on the world of language i don't know i guess it's just about uh how to deal with language British comedy. 974 plus 399 shipping out the door. 
Last one, the new one of the bunch, sold for the least amount. So $653 plus $399 shipping. We have John Wayne, the Cowboys, brand new sealed. Um, you know, what are you going to do, right? You make two or three bucks on it, but, you know, you got to make sure you're not paying a lot. You know, if you're paying two or three dollars, then you're going to lose money. So that was it for the sales over the weekend. Overall, great weekend of sales. No complaints from me and no empty Ikea bag, eBay, Fleabay tricks today's video. So I just want to kind of want to talk about how we're getting squeezed from every different direction as resellers, right? So, you know, as reselling has gained popularity over the past, you know, five years, retailers and these platforms all have become aware of, you know, how much money some of us are making doing what we do. So they figure, hey, we can, you know, tighten the bolts a little bit, you know, raise fees, you know, and we, hey, USPS shipping is a fee increase two or three times a year anymore. So that alone, they're they're squeezing extra pennies and dollars out of us and it's it's it, this year's kind of been eye-opening to me to see how everything is kind of closing in and and eating into your overall margin and profit of your business right between the shipping if you're shipping it yourself if you're not doing fba the fees fees on amazon are just i mean the fees on amazon are crazy right i mean it's nice to have them ship your stuff but you know, if you're selling a $10 book on Amazon, you're probably losing money, FBA. So that's crazy to think about just because the fees are so high. Um, eBay, you know, they raised their promotional, uh, promoted listings fee, uh, minimum, things like that. So like there's little subtle things that go on in the background. And every time shipping goes up, that's more money out of our pocket, more fees out of our pocket. We just have to kind of figure out how to counteract the increased cost across the board right because sure we all can sit here and say well people are going to raise their prices well i personally do not believe that everybody across the board is going to start pricing their ebay and amazon items up more and never sell it just because they think oh well if everybody's going to re re you know raise their prices then we'll be fine i don't believe in that um, at least not, you know, maybe for the next five years. So you can't really sit here and say, oh, well, you can charge more. Well, yeah, you can charge more, but guess what? Somebody else is gonna charge less just to get the sale. And you have to realize a lot of people that are in the reselling world don't understand their profitability, right? They just see the sale. So, oh, I sold this for 10 bucks on Amazon. You think you're getting $10. You know, if this was FBA, you're not taking in the fact the $7 minimum fee that's coming out, your buy cost, your subscription cost, everything like that. So a lot of people in the reselling world, unfortunately, don't understand uh, mathematics and P&Ls and how everything kind of breaks down to a final number. They just see that initial sale amount so people, unfortunately, you know, it just, they're gonna keep pricing the way they are. There's not gonna be an increase across the board in prices just because things cost more. It's almost the opposite, right? People see rising costs, so they need money, so they lower their prices to sell more items. So I think, you know, going forward, we're not gonna see a huge increase in, in what people are pricing their items at, but we are going to get to a tipping point here where a lot of a lot of resellers are going to have to, you know, take a look in the mirror and figure out, hey, is this worth my time and investment? Because I'm spending all this time in this business and I'm really not making money. Sure, you see your sales number, but you know when you see that payout that goes into your bank account, if it's nothing, then hey, it's all you're you're basically working for free. So I just kind of wanted to bring up, you know, like what are you doing to counteract all these walls closing in around on reselling? trying to get every percentage out of our pockets that we can. For me personally, I always say drive down your buy costs, right? And that's another thing we have to deal with is rising thrift store costs. So if you're relying on thrift stores, even even my Goodwill bins have have raised their prices for books. It used to be 33 cents a book. Now they now even the books are by the pound at my at my uh bin. So everything is changing around us and everything is going up, you know, nothing's ever goes down. And once it goes up, it's never coming back down. So just think of ways you can kind of, I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but if you could save 50 cents a dollar per item, especially at scale, that adds up and kind of counteracts the whole chaos of everything always going up. So we got to figure out ways to basically save ourselves money because they're going to be expecting to get more money from us on the back end. And that's just the reality of it, right? We all know fees are going to keep going up across the board until we're literally, you know, they want us to be like the huge guys where you have a one, one to five percent profit margin and we have to figure out ways to kind of stay stay ahead of the curve because nobody in their right mind is going to you know do reselling by themselves for you know one percent five percent right if i was only making five percent on a dvd sale 
I wouldn't even bother listing it or selling it. It just wouldn't make sense. So just wanted to get this out there, kind of hear what your thoughts are, what you're doing to you know keep costs down and not worry about fees going up, shipping going up. Personally, for me, I have high enough ROI where if you know USPS goes up every month, I'll still be fine at least for another two years. <laughs> Knock on wood, that doesn't happen. But you know the prices are always going up across the board. They're always getting rid of certain things that benefited us before. So just be wary of it and uh, drop a comment down below what you're doing to counteract the rise in costs. And as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more used book videos. Bye-bye.